hey guys welcome to my channel divine and gifted i am shay how are you doing this reading will be for your fire signs first half of april listen y'all don't judge me i know i'm late but that first week i was on vacation okay so i'm trying to get it in okay um <clears throat> so anywho hi how are you I'm gonna hop right in don't wait for you guys too long I understand it's a very general reading for fire signs Aries, leo sad so please take this message how it resonates if the truth it's great if it doesn't leave it where it's at if you know someone who may resonate with this video please like share comment subscribe with them have them subscribe to the channel check out some of the content <clears throat> If you're interested in booking a reading with me, leaving donations, all that fantastic stuff, the information that you need will be in the description box below. Okay, so. Let's tap in. So what messages do you have for the fire signs, Very Leo Sarah for the first half of April? to have faith maybe focusing on your family and tribe but this have faith is here okay i feel like there's a little bit of questioning doubting um <clears throat> could be feeling a, a tad bit insecure y'all what to look at what i do with the book Okay, so we have number 22. It's a master number. Okay, so let's hop right in, you guys. It says, faith requires you to believe in something that is not yet evident to the naked eye. To generate more faith focused on the why. Your dreams, desires, feelings, attitudes, and thinking, and not on the how. Action plan, strategies, and skills. Your whole life have been taught your whole life, you have been taught to think about how, which leads to doubt and fear. The wisdom of this card is asking you to only focus on the why. The magic that will happen if you stop fo if you stop focusing on the how and only on the why is that after some time of practice, you will notice that how will present itself to you. It is it is through your focus, positive thinking that you can create people circumstances and events that will take you closer to your dreams what you have mostly done it um what have you mostly done is to focus on the how which is what made you doubt yourself this means that you are vibrating negative thoughts into the universe keeping your dreams away remember you remember you were created to be the co-creator here on earth designed for achievement faith is knowing that everything is going to work out to the best possible way, no matter what things look like, okay? So don't focus on the how, focus on the why, focus on the what is the purpose of you even feeling or wanting this, the desire, okay? Focus on the outcome. I like to focus on the outcome. I like to see myself, visualize myself. That is a part of manifestation. Not only is it visualizing, but it's also believing in the things that you're trying to currently manifest. So please don't give up. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how distracted you get, no matter how many times people tell you no or how many failed attempts um, in order for you to perfect it, you have to have some type of uh, setback. OK, so just keep that in mind with the half faith. And um, because it's only right. Let's hop right in. <clears throat> What's the overall focus for the first half of April for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sag, memories of love, releasing things, releasing, mem okay. And I feel like having faith in memories of love, understand the process. This is understanding the process, knowing when to surrender and when to release something and let it go. Knowing that no matter how many times something did not work, um, don't worry about the past and the things that you deem as failure. You never know. Spirit might think that 
deem it as success and your wish will be granted. But understanding that releasing is a big part of your next step, okay? Um, and then at the bottom, we have choose wisely. So it's like what, what, what you choose to hold on to, what you choose to, um, what you choose to think about, where you choose to put your focus when it comes to your whatever it is you're trying to manifest or whatever it is you're trying to um, bring forth into fruition need to be love finances you know so ha what so have you um releasing the past letting something go not holding on to resentments regrets um your fears your worries your stresses the things that bring you anxiety the things that you can't stop thinking about the house releasing the why didn't this work and accepting what it is that you need to accept because you have opportunities coming to you but before the opportunities present themselves there is a need for you to make room okay now with this choose wisely you have multiple opportunities you have many different directions to take and at this time there is a need for a lot of um introspection and listening okay quiet quieting the mind and opening up the ears and allowing yourself to really tune in on what is the best possible outcome or what is going what direction can you take that will help you be the best version of yourself with this choose wisely under that we have suffering in silence and you see here this person is sitting here held back withdraw not knowing what direction to take but going within and this person has been holding so much in and it's time to release it it's time to have these memories it's time to send them off it's time to be grateful for them it's time to give gratitude and it's time to just send them off in a new direction okay now um let's keep it kicking so i did have some other cards that I wanted to pull. You know, all my cards be in the same spot. Why I be having a hard time every time? Okay. I guess they don't be in the same spot because, uh, no, this ain't the cards. Yeah, I forget. Okay. Cause, oh, look, cause they're right here in my face. Okay. <coughs> Spirit, what messages do you have for fire signs? Aries Leo Sag. What messages do you have for him? First half of April. Where she can focus be? Guidance. Receiving guidance. Understanding your worth. Receiving guidance. What's this? Individuality. What's this that came out? Delusion. Don't it, it's like. Knowing when to detach and let something go. Knowing no, it's like don't fall, don't don't build your, don't get in delusional energy. Don't make yourself believe things that's not real. Don't focus on things that happen. Don't focus on the past. But when I see guidance, it says, when you make the divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. So understanding that when you rely solely on spirit, source, God, the universe, your Creator. What so have you, however you do your thing. When you make that the foundation of your being, everything that you go towards is divinely guided. Your steps are guided, okay? And um, I just feel like you guys are asking others for opinions and you guys are trying to really get an understanding of what's going on and there's really for me time it's it's really time for you to connect to spirit at this time with this guidance card because you have half faith memories of love and then you have guidance and at the bottom of the deck we have worth you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve in fact you are loved within itself and some of you guys are needing to understand that you are worthy of everything that you're asking for and i feel like don't get discouraged okay <clears throat> do not get discouraged i did not pull these in the air signs but i was supposed to i'm sorry if you're air sign watching this my bad y'all okay um uh, additional messages for the first half 
someone is behaving stupidly, watch your behavior, watch your reactions to things. You're looking like a turkey. Okay, listen, watch your behavior, watch how people, and I feel like this is saying pay attention to your actions and how others act, re respond. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and it's like, don't feed into it. Don't feed into it. It's a distraction. I want this. It says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Listen here. I feel like this is you guys. It's because you guys are so stubborn and you guys are stuck in, stuck in your ways. Dealing with the relationship or man. What else? Give me two more. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Two more. Pleasure with a close friend. And then give me one more. them all back i'm gonna take it it says bag give me one more i said one more okay romance is in the air at the bottom let's see and you have a two-faced friend. Be careful. Pay attention to your friends. Pay attention to the people you keep around you because they're they're entertaining you as if they're your friend, but they're really not. Okay, so be very careful with the people and the energies that you are giving out. Okay, um, protect yourself from forces. Protect it from negative forces beyond your control. This person could be trying to. And, and you know what? I feel like people do things um, unknowingly. You get what I'm saying? A person doesn't, a lot of people don't understand how their intentions work. So say, for instance, you have a heated discussion with, with one of your friends and in their brain, they're just like, oh, I hope it don't work for you and all this and this and that because they're mad or upset. You're not under, they're not understanding that that is actually working against you um, when you guys end up working everything out. But <clears throat> regardless of what's going on, you're protected from all BS, period. And, um... It says someone is extremely stubborn and willing to change. I feel like if you guys want change, if you guys want success, if you want everything to work up, look, if you want everything to work how it's supposed to work, then I feel like you guys are needed to step outside of the, the norm, step outside of the preconditioned um, behaviors, so on and so forth. But something important, such as a new job, a raise, or career, and this is, and, and you don't want to be stubborn when it's time for you to elevate. You get what I'm saying? unsuccessful outcome to a problem fair woman and i feel like some of you guys could be falling out with a friend or a girlfriend or what so have you but this is a fair woman dealing with a relationship with a woman with blonde hair gray hair white hair or she could just be light-skinned or lighter complexion than you and i feel like some of you guys are falling out or needing to pay attention to some of the women or um you know, some you need to pay attention to someone that's in your life currently that is um, that, that they don't have good intentions for you. OK, pay attention to that. Now, let's hop right in with. Hmm, who are what is coming towards you? Earth sign, first half of April. I see a lot of grief I'm telling you work on your communication skills. If you can't communicate, don't even want don't don't talk about it right there and go back. Okay. Air signs. So we have the full. Okay. We have the page of swords. This is someone. <laughs> Hold on. I feel like someone don't care what they're saying. They don't care what they're saying, how they're saying it, none of that. they just like, you know what? I'm just going to say whatever I got to say for some of you. For some of you, do watch, 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 your, watch your tongue. Watch the things that you're saying. You get what I'm saying? And if you, if you are on the other end of this, because you don't want to break, you don't want to burn any bridges. You should be trying to mend all the bridges, okay? Um, I, um, and, and for others of you, like I was saying, if this is you pay attention to what someone is saying pay attention to how they speaking about other people this is what you need to focus on because what they're doing with you they're doing 
when you're not there or vice versa. So be careful. Um, but, and for others of you, this is a new journey. Okay, understand? Mm, the tower. Somebody got a big mouth. Give me one more. The moon, of course. Truth being exposed, something came out. Um, truth came out. And how it came out is because someone didn't know how to wash their tongue. This is this is a fallout. Um, someone's insecure as well. Hold on. Clarify this tower. Nope. Clarify the fool for me. Put that back. Clarify the fool. The devil. Mm. Insecurities. I'm telling you. Someone is insecure, but it needs to happen. Okay. Now, this can go two ways. Okay. Look page of pentacles for some of you guys you guys are breaking free from conditioning you guys are um finally stepping out and stepping into a new direction and you don't care about the who the what's the why's the wins you know what you want you're going after it fire energy i love it okay now for others of you guys there's time for you to break free from someone and this person is very toxic they're toxic as fuck okay and with the will of fortune here, I feel like you're starting to see that. And because you're starting to see that, you're like, you know what? I'm going to cut my losses and I'm up out of here because of this person and how messy they are, how they talk, what, what they what they be saying. Um, I feel like they, they all talk. Tell me about this page of swords. Look. 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 All talk. Oh, all talk. Okay. And because none of my cards are in the the reverse because I didn't I forgot to shuffle them um so they could do their thing but I feel like this person because it's coming up as a queen of wands with the page of swords to the ten of wands I feel like someone's had enough they've had enough they've had enough and if this queen of wands was under this the king of swords I'm telling you this motherfucker don't know how to talk they don't know how to talk okay they don't know how to talk what's this what's this page of swords about six of wands arrogance arrogance they, they they bragging about things that they don't have things they they're bragging because they're going through a lot in their life or it's like um okay look listen because i feel like part of this could be your energy part of this could be your energy aries leo sag okay and i only say that because the queen of wands was there and that was y'all okay you guys are really mean to monitor how you're speaking how you're talking to yourself how you're communicating with other people okay um, I feel like, I feel like some of you guys have been going through so much. You guys are to the point to where you don't care. You don't care if you hurt someone's feelings. You just going to say what you have to say because you've had enough and you're ready for change because the six of wands is here. Others of you guys, I feel like you guys are showboating and you guys ain't really got yourself together. So be careful. Okay. Tell me about this tower. The Tower, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Magician. Give me one more. That's a lot of major arcana here. I'm trying to tell you. <sighs> Two of Swords. Now, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you guys are accidentally going to manifest something. And it's not going to go in your favor because you're coming up as a Ten of Wands. So be careful. Be careful. You're manifesting things with fear on your tongue like you're you're how how you how you're moving forward you're coming up as a queen of pentacles but again give me the best advice for this look at that look this fell out flew out okay five of swords this it's like how you guys this fell on the floor you know i don't take cards off the floor but how you guys are manifesting is you guys are just ready to take action this is you guys' energy you guys are just ready to go for it and you're not worried about the consequences when right now you need to pause think and reflect before moving forward stop talking out your ass okay 
Stop saying what you're going to do. Stop saying what you want to do. And you need to connect with spirit. Okay, because I'm telling you something that you think is going to go in your favor is not because of how you're manifesting or what the actions that you're taking, the people that you're surrounding yourself with, the burdens, the everything that you have. The five of swords is here. This is a lose-lose situation. It may look like a win and an outcome, but it's really not. And you really need to pay attention here. Okay. Um, you guys are going to learn a lesson. Or maybe you guys just came out of learning a lesson. I'm not sure. Okay. Clarify this moon for me. The sun. The sun and the moon. Oh, my God. One more. Oh, my God. Page of Pentacles came out of reverse. Hello. Mm. Because your fears, the thing, the things that you're telling yourself, um, needing to really connect. And, and I feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't understand too, especially with this moon card. There's a lot of things that you're not seeing that's working behind work trying to work out in your favor, but you're not seeing it. This is you needing to be illuminated. Things aren't going how you want it to go financially. Um and, and, and the reason is because of your thoughts, because of how you're thinking, your actions moving forward. You want to just go. You want everything to work out how you want it to work out, but you're not taking the time to necessarily just sit there and get your plan together. You just want to act. You want to move. You want to go forward. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. The Justice card. Yep. Yeah. Some of you guys, this could be a relationship, but I'm not looking at it like that. I'm looking at this as just an individual person. You guys are needing to find balance between your masculine and feminine energy. This King of Pentacles, seven of seven of seven of um, maybe you guys feel like you guys need to fight or you're feeling very defensive, or you guys could be holding on to every little thing that you have, and it's really time for you to release and let go. Okay. So this is a very specific message for somebody. Okay, okay, listen. Let's look into the relationships when it comes to love for the Aries, Leo, and Sag. What or what is coming towards them. So over our energy for his half of April. Finances and career. You guys are struggling financially. You guys are having a hard time of manifesting. It's like every time you manifest something, you feel like it goes to shit. Especially with that tower in the minute and it's like, I don't feel like you guys need to understand how quick you will manifest something. So be very careful. This is why it's very, it's very important for you to monitor the energy that you're putting out because the energy that you're putting out into the universe, this is the energy that's being reciprocated back to you. Finances and career. You could be having some type of financial difficulties right now um, when it comes to, or maybe you guys are wanting to go out and maybe somebody wants to take you out or because this is about love. So I feel like, Maybe someone is wanting to take you out, but they're not taking you out because they're they don't really have it together. And maybe this is because of next, or maybe they need to clear their energy and start fresh. Okay, it's safe for you to love playfulness, religious factors. Um, someone is married. Okay, for others of you guys, this is a relationship and you guys have been going through it in your relationship. You guys have been arguing, going back and forth, fussing and fighting, it, 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 sexually frustrated. Um, it's like every time you guys try to start over, it doesn't work. It, it comes, it, it, it just falls apart. And this is because of the the past, the situations that happened in the past that keep resurfacing. And you guys are really needing to release and let's go of something so you guys can finally have a fresh start. Okay, keep an open mind when it comes to your relationship and your marriage. Okay, um, because you guys can start new. You guys can start over, but you have to trust it. You have to trust in this relationship and this connection. Okay, you guys are wanting to retreat, but look, Spirit is saying stay optimistic. Even though the love is, may seem unrequited, you need to find that passion. Um, when when you, when people when 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 a person struggles financially, their whole life is is horrible. They're the way they think, the way they eat, the way they talk, walk because they they don't they feel like they their foundation is not secure. So it, when they feel insecure within their foundation in the finance department then everything else about them is it becomes insecure and they start questioning second guessing and 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 really doubting so i'm just saying when it comes to your spouse have a little patience okay because it says it's safe for you to love and be playful so this is saying keep an open mind and, and bring back that spark that playful energy between you guys so you guys can revamp you guys' marriage or relationship long-term baby daddy mama i don't know okay so you guys can revamp that okay 
But um, so let's do best advice for Aries. Totally not using this deck. Best advice for Aries. First half of April. Best advice for Aries. The lovers. You guys are needing to focus on yourself, make some type of decision. It's it's time for you to ascend. Um, Aries, you guys can have a, a new connection here. This is new love. This is a this is a soul contract. What the lovers and the two of cups? This is a soul contract. Give me one more. Justice, yes. Aries, you have a new love offer on the table. And this is something that you manifested. This is this is something that you manifested. And this is this is like um the union between you guys is so sacred. It's like you guys are already bound and connected by the heart, by spirit. And um I feel like this is going to be very triggering for you. You have the Knight of Wands here with the King of Wands. Someone's ready to take action. You guys' this connection is so steamy, passionate, fiery. I love it. With the Three of Wands, it's time for growth and expansion in you guys' relationship. Be patient. Take your time. All that. Okay? Give me one more. Aries, good job. Oh, the sun. Hello. Okay? This is a birth of a new. This could be a, a long-time commitment, marriage, babies, love happiness peace okay but look you're going to have to work through the kinks you're going to have to iron some things out it's going to get have to get straightened out okay and like i i felt i felt it i feel like it's going to trigger you a little bit i'm just looking at the cards it's going to trigger you a little bit because anytime you see justice there is something karmic that needs to be learned here in this relationship but it will flourish because you have the sun um but you're also needing to break free from Th this connection that's here is 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 so fucking deep you got the lovers and the devil come on now that this is like it's like a past life soul made it soul faded karmic it could be your twin kind of kind of vibe okay it, it cannot not your twin it's like um like that would be the energy it would seem like your twin this is so karmic soulmate something like that but um Don't be afraid to let your guard down. Don't be afraid to let your guard down. I'm telling you now you're going to be triggered within this new love, within this foundation. And this is how it's supposed to go because the justice card is here. The will is also with the justice card at the top. You see that? The, it's, this is like, it's, it's, it's time for you to start reaping the rewards and the benefits of this. Okay? So what's the overall energy for the Aries? That didn't want to shuffle. Let's try that one more time. Aries, killing family issues, okay? And maybe this is your baby mom, baby daddy, what so have you, but there's really a need for healing here, okay? And that's the sun. There's a need for you to heal this connection that you have with someone because it's very sacred, divine. It's beautiful. Um, Could have been a lot of lies or someone not being their true authentic self in the past, but really wanting you to give this relationship a chance and stop trying to control everything, just allow everything to happen as it should. Okay, needing to break some codependency here as well. Okay, you 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 have to pay attention to when you're being codependent or when someone's being codependent on you. Okay, make sure you're setting up healthy boundaries. Now, um, Sagittarius, best advice first half, Sagittarius, Page of Swords, give me one more, Page of Swords. Well, that was a strength card. I feel like, um, mm. Sagittarius is knowing how to stand up for yourself, knowing how to communicate, knowing to stand up into your full power, not feeling guilty, sad, bad about something that you had to move away from. Sagittarius, okay? Please. This is standing in your truth. 
you're the empress you are the empress could be dealing with the um with the libra or taurus but the will of fortune is here there's it's time for forward movement it's time for you to leave it's time it's really time for you to heal and forgive yourself especially with that five of cups there or heal and forgive someone if it's not yourself it's time for you to move away from this and start being more confident and living in your truth with this empress it's time for you to start loving yourself and really nurturing the ideas and um finding your creative flow and your passion will of fortune here is at the bottom of the deck this is going to be something that goes in your favor you could have new opportunities new partnerships coming when it comes to finances and career with the nine of pentacles okay the death card is here look this is the death of the ego okay so that's advice for our sagittarius whoa okay and, and and this is the need for you to leave unrequited like thinking that you're not going to get the love that you want or thinking that you don't deserve it this is you needing to leave this behind because you are very capable of calling in your soulmate the next person that you meet will be your soulmate bottom of the deck reconciliation you have someone coming back and want to reconcile reconcile with you when they know it wasn't giving you the love that you deserve this is someone from the past they want to take you out maybe take a trip or go somewhere real nice because they think that they're the love of their life with that true love card okay now when it comes to our Leos. That was quick. Knight of Wands. Proceed with caution. Look, that just wanted to come. I said I flew it out of my hand. Knight of Wands. Proceed with caution. Ready to take action. Um, Because, you know, Leos, y'all tend to be a little stubborn. All in your head. Think you the man. Okay, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. But other than that, you guys are ready to take action. You guys are ready to go for what you want. You could have somebody come towards you. Leo's. Two of Wands. Um, I feel like you are indecisive. You wanted to take action, but it's hesitant. You go back and forth a lot. Um, with this Eight of Wands, you have a new victory, new journey, new success coming towards you. Um... You guys could be trying to hold on to some type of relationship and it's not beneficial for you, okay? You guys could have went through a breakup or a separation. You guys could be having like money problems or what so have you. But understand that whatever you just currently got out of, it, this was a lesson for you because the hair font is here. And you guys have a new adventure, a new endeavor, a new lover, new somebody coming your way. And there's really a need for you to take back control of who you are, standing into your power, that emperor energy. Um... That emperor energy yeah take back control of your life let me let me just get one more let me just leave that. Yeah. i feel like you guys are needing to also go back to the drawing board it's time for you to leave something behind so stop hesitating and stop going back and forth about it give me one have patience with yourself look because obviously you guys went through some type of breakup or a separation could have lost your job or transferring jobs or something like that i'm really just trying to stay grounded when it comes to finances and career um but this two of wands and this temperance is saying needing to find balance before taking action okay needing to find balance be very patient with yourself um really allow the sun to heal you okay really allow the sun to heal you when it comes to love Leos. Like I said, you guys could have a soulmate coming towards you wanting to reconcile. New love, look. New love. Hello? One more. Free yourself. Free yourself from the mental conditions, okay? Keep an open mind, okay? Release your ex. You're needing to clear your energy because you have someone coming towards you and this could actually be the one. Knowing how to express your love, not holding back, okay? But it's like not being... Not being a Leo, not making everything about you, hello, and really listening to someone else and learning how to express how you really feel, okay? So 
fire signs that is your reading thank you for tuning in i truly appreciate you guys i truly appreciate you guys thank you see you guys later